What's up guys, Christian here and today I'm going to show you how to unlock your Samsung Galaxy S8. I just got this phone straight from the factory and today I'm going to show you how to unlock it. Just go ahead and grab your phone and we're going to get the IMA number of the phone. So we're going to dial star hash zero six hash and as you will see the 15 digit IMA number will appear in your screen. So this is very, very important guys. We're going to use this number to generate the unlock code to unlock this phone. Okay, so keep it somewhere close. Now we're going to switch to the computer. Go to your internet browser, see that it says short instructions on how to enter this unlock code. Uh, it says that the code is ready, but the most important part is the actual unlock code. So this right here is what we're going to use to unlock this phone. Now keep in mind that this code, this exact same code will not work for your phone because it only works for one specific phone based on your IMEI number. So anyways, I'm going to show you how to enter this unlock code. It's super simple. So I'm going to switch cameras back to the phone. So make sure that your phone is fully turned off and you're going to have to insert a non-supported SIM card. My phone is from AT&T, so I'm going to use a different provider like T-Mobile, Telus or any other. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and insert the SIM card in. And once your phone has detected that you have inserted a non-supported SIM card, it will require you to enter this unlock code. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert it here and we're going to power on the phone. So after a few seconds, you will see the screen requesting the network unlock code. So we're going to go ahead and insert this unlock code here. Make sure it is 100% correct and then you're gonna hit where it says unlock. Perfect, SIM network unlock successful. That means that the code was accepted and now we have a fully factory unlocked phone. Now your phone is gonna restart, it's gonna take a few seconds. So once your phone is on, you should get a full signal of your new carrier. All right guys, so there you have it. That's how you unlock a Samsung Galaxy S8. I hope this video helped you unlock your phone. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. By the way, guys, if you haven't checked out the drop test video, go ahead and click it here to watch the drop test from 1000 feet. We're also giving away a free Samsung Galaxy S8. So make sure you also watch this video because I'll tell you how you can win it there. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Take care. Hi guys and welcome to the video, today I have Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with me and today we are going to install and review of the Galaxy S9 full ported ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. So first of all, as you can see, I've broken the glass of my Galaxy S7 Edge the second time here. So the thing is that I dropped this phone four times in a single day and you know it got cracked three times so um yeah i'm a really unlucky person so sorry for the broken glass on this phone here um right but now we are going to install the galaxy s9 rom on the samsung galaxy s7 edge so i will split this video into two parts as always in the first part of this video we are going to install this rom i'm going to guide you uh, all the steps and after that we are also going to take a short look on the galaxy s9 full ported rom right so now let's start with the installation so before we start to install this rom there are a couple of things which you need to do so the first thing is to install twrp on your samsung galaxy s7 edge if you haven't done that already you can watch some other videos on youtube showing you how to do that Right, the second thing which you need to do is to download the ROM, so you can download the ROM from the description of this video, and uh, yeah, after that you are ready to install this ROM. So the first thing which you need to do is to power off your device and boot into TWRP, so let's power off this phone here. And to boot to, T to the TWRP recovery you need to press the volume up button, the home button and the power button at the same time, so let's do that. So here we are in the TWRP recovery, so the first thing which you need to do is go to the wipe option here and press on advanced wipe. Here you need to select Devlik, system, data and cache. So this will basically erase all your apps, but your internal storage will still be there. So all your music files or all your documents will still be in the internal storage, but you will lose all your apps and all your settings, etc. Then you need to swipe to wipe. After this is finished, you can go back, go to the install option and locate the ROM where you have stored it. In my case, it's in the internal storage, just press on it and locate your ROM. So this here is the ROM, SAC23 ported S9 ROM. So 
After you have selected this ROM, you just need to swipe to flash. So as you can see, the installation process is finished now. After this is finished, you can reboot the system and just wait until the phone boots up to the new system. So as you can see the phone booted up now and this here is the introduction menu of the Galaxy S9 port. <clears throat> so let's say start here. Let me connect to my Wi-Fi network quickly. So as you can see here this is one of the small changes here. Here you can um, select use volume keys for media so every time when you press on the volume keys the volume of the media will be changed so here as you can see we got a couple of um, ways to protect our phone so intelligent intelligence scan won't work face recognition may work i'm not quite sure is scan, iris scanner won't work of course because we, we haven't got that sensor over there but the fingerprint scanner should work just fine so let's uh, test that you can see the fingerprint scanner works just fine over here So here we can change the way um, of or the look of the notifications on the lock screen. So you can hide the content from here. You can also show the notification dots only, and you can even scale the transparency of the notifications from here, which is really amazing in my opinion. But I'm all, uh, only going to show the icons of the notifications. As you can see, the uh, ROM has also got the Google Assistant on board, but now we are going to skip that quickly. And here we go. So this here is um, the home screen of the Galaxy S9 port, as you can see. So you got the S9... The S9 launcher over here which looks also really nice you got all the new icons of the Galaxy S9 so as you can see the messages um, thing has got a new icon over there for example and as you can see this ROM is really bloated so it hasn't got any bloatware on top so this is a really nice thing um, right so here we got the new notification panel with the new colors over here as you can see the blue color is a little more, more deep now so it's a deep blue and yeah so in total it looks really similar to the stock um, to the stock Oreo of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S7 Edge but there are a few differences between this ROM and um, the stock ROM and now we are going to take a look at all of these differences so as I've told you already, there are not that big differences on these on this Galaxy S9 port and the stock Oreo ROM of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, but there are uh, a few differences. So the biggest difference probably is uh, are the new wallpapers. So you got plenty of new live wallpapers or infinity wallpapers, how Samsung is calling them. So you can see that you got these Galaxy S9 wallpapers here and these standard wallpapers, and you also got the these wallpapers with this 9 over here and you also got this galaxy s3 style wallpaper of the samsung galaxy s9 and uh, yeah so let's select this one for example and let's say set as wallpaper and as you can see you got this gray gray wallpaper so it looks like it, it, um I'm not quite sure, but it looks uh, to be blue through the camera, but actually it's gray. And if we turn on the screen here, you can see that the live wallpaper is also on the always on display. If you turn on the screen, it will be on the lock screen. And if you unlock your phone, you will have this new animation, which looks really amazing in my opinion. 
So another new difference here is the messages app. So as you can see, it uh, has got a new color over there, which looks also really amazing. And the app itself has also got a new redesign. So as you can see, the app is blue now and it looks a little bit different. So there are small design changes in this app. So unfortunately we didn't get the Galaxy S9 camera together with this ROM, so this is probably the only thing which hasn't been ported from the Galaxy S9. So as you can see here we have this um, Oreo um, camera on board of the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which is similar to the Galaxy S8's Oreo camera. So here we can um, enable this full screen mode, we can uh, go to the settings and so on. So as you can see they are still the same settings and there is actually nothing new over here. So the performance of this ROM is quite similar to the performance of the S7 Edge running on the stock ROM on Oreo, so you won't notice any uh, big differences on the performance. Battery wise it's also quite similar to the stock Android Oreo ROM. It may be a little bit worse than the stock ROM since this is a Galaxy S9 port, but um, yeah, you will, you will definitely get one full day. And let's see here, let's um, take a look at the memory usage over here, the RAM usage. Um, let's clean the RAM quickly here. And now we can see that um, this ROM uses like half of the RAM, so they are like 2 GB free. And the ROM itself uses um, 1.8 GB which is a quite decent number for a uh, for an Oreo ROM. And yeah, this should be it. If you liked this video, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give a dislike as always and peace out.